I'm Emma. We live in a very modern world and children today aren't interested in shoe. So my school project is called Save Our Shoes. You see, my grandma told me... There were 450,000 Jewish people in Britain in 1945, but today we are only 285,000. That's not very good, is it? And now we go down by over 1% every year. There'll be no one left. But my investigations have shown that the United Synagogue has a brilliant strategy that's already starting to save and revitalise Anglo Jewry. I found this man. He runs the United Synagogue and he said, in a very grown-up way, We take our responsibilities seriously. As the largest religious organisation in Anglo Jewry, we have to take a leading role in revitalising our community. We quickly realised that membership income was insufficient. We're grateful for it. It keeps our schools running, but it doesn't pay for anything extra. Without new programmes and new initiatives, we risk losing the next generation. He was very worried, so the United Synagogue had loads of meetings and they thought of loads of great ideas and they came up with the Kahila project. Because Kahila means community. Over the past two years, the Kahila project has become one of the most important and fast growing initiatives in Anglo Jewry. Thanks to some 130 patrons and over 3,000 supporters, we are really transforming Jewish life. My family and I had given up on Shul, but um, now that we're part of the local community, we feel inspired and we have some good leadership, and we're really proud to be a part of it and we're enjoying it. It's like they've listened to us and given us what we want. We want it! We want it! We want it! We want it! And then I found Rabbi Andrew Shaw, who wanted you to know that some communities are growing well beyond expectations, but others are not. We have a very long way to go. Because the future belongs to our children, like Emma, Dana and James. Kill is concentrating on Tribe, the young United Synagogue. Tribe Kids is great for babies, toddlers and children up to 11 years. Here, we enjoy a warm and welcoming shul community. We play, socialise and enjoy the special Jewish family atmosphere as we grow up. People phone me up and they just can't believe that United Synagogue and Tribe have actually bothered to come to their door and say hello and give them this baby gift pack as a welcome and offer them the opportunity to join mother and toddler groups such as this one at Borham Wood. The baby packs tell us that the United Synagogue is thinking about families and children um, and they're you know, caring about us. We will also be building up tribe membership working with our Jewish primary schools where there are thousands of kids. Guys, do you want to be members of tribe? Yeah! If we had more funding, we'd be able to provide much better facilities for many more shuls and then create environments that parents want to bring their children to within the US environment. We are tribe! Tribe Kids has been brilliantly successful in the few shuls doing it. But lots more shuls would like to do Tribe Kids for their little children, so that as we grow up, we'll want to become Tribe Teens. At Bar Bat Mitzvah age, most of our friends leave the United Synagogue. But now, Bar Mitzvahs are a welcome to becoming a Tribe Team member of the United Synagogue. And that's cool. Tribe Teen strategy really appeals to our teenagers and includes an enjoyable amount of Judaism. So teenagers forge friendships rooted in their local show community. They also have a room to themselves, the tribe zone. No more broken table tennis bats or the smell of damp and no more stale biscuits. And we're not the only ones that think so. I like coming to show because I like meeting my friends. I like coming to the, tri the, to the activity in the tribe zone. It's like a social gathering and we all just sit and talk and drink and eat and have fun. <laughs> made me realise how good Shul was and then I started to come to Shul and I enjoyed it. Thank you to everyone that organised Shul because yeah. you made it a place where we all want to come. Yeah, so thank you very much. The events are great, like bowling bonanzas, football frenzies and bar bat bashes. There's Smile, where we can learn things in a fun way. And now Tribe Teens are putting on High and Potter, which involves 40 to 50 of us in each Shul. <laughs> With 
tribe executives working part-time at JFS and King Solomon School, the United Synagogue should attract thousands more teenagers from Jewish schools. 2005 is tribe's year of transformation. The potential is huge and having had a great time being tribe teens means we'll really want to grow up to become members of tribe campus. Over 80% of Jewish teenagers go to university, so it's important we inspire Jewish students to stay with us. Our campus ambassadors organise lots of great events that we really want to go to, and they distribute campus packs to the many grateful Jewish students around the country. In the tribe campus packs, we've got kosher baked beans, kosher chicken soup, a Havdalah set, a book, The Case for Israel, but what we really appreciated was the letter back home from our shul. It's really nice to know how much they care and to hear about everything that's going on. Next year, more tribe ambassadors will be working with Jewish student chaplains on campus to develop events which the students really want to go to. As you can see, here in Birmingham, Esther's coffee shop night has been a real success. Unfortunately, tribe does not exist at all university campuses as of yet. We're hoping something towards for the future that we'll be hoping to have a tribe presence wherever there are United Synagogue members on campus. Tribe is building up membership at all sorts of places, in schools, in shuls, and any major Jewish event, we're there to get more people to join up with Tribe. Another initiative is Tribe Israel, which gets Jewish teenagers together on their gap here in Israel. We have a Shabbaton and a great time together as members of Tribe campus, maintaining the shul social life away from home. When students graduate from student life, they move from being Tribe Campus members to Tribe 20 Plus. Tribe community membership is for singles aged 21 to 30, which will offer corporate and lifestyle benefits for just five pounds per month or 60 pounds per year. So they'll get shul membership as well as discounts from lifestyle partners like Bupa, Green Flag, Toucan and China Presentations. Through Tribe, the United Synagogue is encouraging our young people across the religious spectrum to become participating members of the local Jewish community. Tribe is a long-term strategy based on the circle of life. It appeals to everyone from babies to young adults. We have programs that build membership, that develop that membership and continue to attract that membership. No one else in Anglo Jewry is doing this. I don't think people realise the amount of young people we're talking about. The United Synagogue has as its membership across the UK almost 30,000 young people. At the moment, we're only getting to around about 10-15% of them. In the last year alone, since Tribe began, the numbers of involvement in shul activities have risen sometimes 10, sometimes 30%. If the support continues, we have so much more to do. The kids want it, the parents want it, the youth directors want it, the rabbis want it. If we get it right, and in, in many, many places and in cases we are, people will enjoy being Jewish. They'll come back to our shuls, they'll bring their families, they'll maintain that sort of involvement that gives them the sense that being Jewish is very special. But without additional funding now, the future looks bleak. These are worrying times. Most shuls have no youth director, no tribe zone and no way of inspiring Jewish children. But Tribe works, it's inspirational. To keep the momentum going and to roll out Tribe to more communities, we need to raise well over half a million pounds. It shouldn't be difficult. Is it really that much to end apathy and assimilation to save and revitalise Jewish communities? I'm so proud I'm Jewish. We care for our children and the Jewish world will grow up in. So thank you for watching and thank you for looking after me and all your little ones. The last word to two tribe babies who never met before coming to tribe, the young United Synagogue.